I think what Imam al-Ghazali was talking about, he is talking about two fundamental desires within the human uh, being. One of them is the stomach and the other is the genitals. And he's saying that, if, that these, if we can master these, then we become masters of ourselves. If we can't master these, then we're slaves to ourselves. Now for a man, those relate to, uh, you know, one of them relates to their desire for women. You know, zuyina uh, and that's one of the things now that I is equally as applicable to women as well in relation to men right I mean I think that that what is being said there can be equally applied uh, for women in terms of men in relation to men although men definitely uh, have a more difficult time right in these matters than women one of the, and this is changing in the modern times, you know, particularly in this country. But that is not something that has traditionally been the situation. Men uh, are are uh, are weaker in these matters. In fact, it's very clearly says in the Quran, insan that man was created weak in relation to women. That there's the the women have a, st- a strength that men don't have. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, for instance, that that a woman's uh, capacity for sexual enjoyment is actually greater than a male's and in, in one uh, by 99 parts and he said except Allah has, m- has made modesty so uh, overbearing in a woman there's a modesty that Allah has placed in women that he didn't place in men right? and this is why it's quite rare in, in cultures all over the world you know uh, and you don't find women traditionally uh, doing a lot of the crude things that men will do, mm-hmm. you know, in relation to these things. So mm-hmm. it's certainly not talking about, wi- it is talking about the idea that a man must learn to control that. And if he doesn't, then he is susceptible uh, to being, to losing himself. You know, for men, it has been made uh, beautiful to a man uh, the lusty desire for women. That that's something man is attracted to. But Allah is saying that that's something he needs to overcome. You know, but there's definitely that is a, is a very strong attraction within the male uh, species. Right? And, part of the, and this is part of the reason is that the hijab is in a sense really the onus has been put on the woman out of the weakness of the man for instance a man now look at this a man can walk in the street with his uh, shirt off now it is not permissible for a woman to look at the man's uh, chest if it's an ajnabi man but the onus wasn't put on men because women are not seen you know, Allah is saying that they're not as weak as men are in that area, that that type of attraction, I mean, women, really, most women, certainly traditionally, and I think still to this day, are just, they're, they're not just, you know, they're men that will just go off. If they see a woman, they get seduced. There's a tradition about Dawood, alayhi salam, saw all of these worshippers, and, and he was admiring them. And Allah said, if I sent one woman to these men, um, they would just go off with her. You know, in other words, wh- you think they're great or bad, but the reality of it is, is you know, they don't have uh, an inner strength.